we will quickly look at the code that actually implements this. The first thing you see, this is the arithmetic decode function that decodes a single bit. It has here some state machine transition tables and probability estimate tables for the actually 47 different states that one context can be in. And it has the transitions between the different states depending on what happens in the decoder. So this is in these tables. And then you have the actual arithmetic decoding, which is a moderately sized decision tree that updates the decoder state and these probabilities. So that's the implementation of the arithmetic decoder. So this is, um, this is this box that we have drawn here was the code that I just showed you. There's, there are also some helper functions that are called by this code. They are also small, so it's maybe twice the size as what you saw, but it's not very big. And this context gatherer, this I so far have implemented in a very, very naive way in arithmetic decode bitmap. There are actually even more things that I did not mention. There is more complexity going on in the bitmap decoding, but you got the main ideas. So this is the context gatherer. And what this currently does it is literally what I described to you. So it looks at individual pixels that are at relative positions to the current pixel. So current pixel is at x, y. And it looks at these different values and simply, as you see, it, it shifts and ors together a binary number. That is this context index. So that is literally the context gathering. Here you see the array that it is working on and all the all the numbers are adaptive pixels. So you see that for these pixels, the relative position is actually read from a data structure. So no wonder all of this is horribly slow. That's just one template. There are other ones, smaller ones with less adaptive pixels. So these are smaller templates here. The template that is actually used in our example file is this one I think. So this template is used. It has four adaptive pixels which I, I think at the default positions which are the ones indicated here and this is the code that is building the context index. Okay and then we have the loop that actually loops just over decodes a pixel, puts the pixel in the bitmap and iterates. So a very straightforward and naive implementation. It works fine, but it is slow as hell. And okay, I think I will now close my window because the rainy weather is getting too cold outside. And I will be back in a minute and then we will do some profiling.